For the talking to stop and the fighting to start, this should be good. I'm Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time now for our tale of the tape. So here is Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And standing across the ring from Saul Canelo Alvarez, a four division multi-time world champion, quite simply one of the greatest of all time. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a... Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. They say you gotta talk the talk, now you gotta walk the walk. The crowd are here, too many people have an opinion, too many people are gonna tell you how good you've done, how bad you've done. You've gotta get your act together. Well, it is go time, ladies and gentlemen. These two fighters promised us an offensive show. Let's see if they deliver. So much for boxing, this is a fist fight. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. The crowd here cannot wait. They've been buzzing all day long, and finally, we're about to get it on. You just see the nerves on the fight stepping into the ring time. It can tell you so much about a fighter. And the look in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. blocks the hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And carries that left jab away. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. The counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Reaction is second to none. It's the blink of an eye, and they're waiting for any little punch you do. So you've got to fight a counter punch is smart. They exchange punches. He threw the hook, didn't land. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. punching. Let's talk about Alvarez. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally come. Well, we've just taken a big breath and here we go again. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. He knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Good counter punching from both these fighters. willing to go where the other fighter won't. A counter fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. exchanges from both men in this round. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Totally impressed. You know what? You got skill. You got... Oh, my goodness. I admire these guys.
then step back for just a moment. I don't think it's going to be a boxing match. This is going to be a fight. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Alvarez. What would you tell this? And there's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. They're both trying for a knockout. Nice counter. Good counter left hand there. He's been showing exceptional chins, by the way. Both men step back for just a moment. How nervous would you get when you know you're facing a big puncher like this that can seriously hurt you? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. And that's exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Back to life now, starting to land some punches. We'd like to see more jabs. The counter scores. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. Back at it in round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them nonstop. So you're getting in there with somebody that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it, because you've got to get some before you get him close. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Still swinging with nothing left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics sometimes to sort of catch you out boxer fight and beat them on points. What a gift. What a gift it is to have a chin where you know you can walk through anything and everything. When you let those shots go and it's just bouncing off and they're walking you down. It's 
so demoralizing, it absolutely breaks your heart. What else can you do? Not a lot of punch out. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alvarez. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And there's the bell for round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer. They are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. That counter shot lands. You can't connect with that right hook. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches. They're scoring, but they're not going to hurt anybody. Nice exchange here from both men. Good counter right hand again. He gets out of the way of that left hand. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. From this moment forward, he cannot afford... On to the sixth round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Some fighters are just gifted, gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. When are we going to see a jab from these two? You'd like to see more jabs. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Alvarez. And around that seemed like eternity for them. 
And here's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you've been hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Trying to answer back. Fails to score with that left hook. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. When you've got a fast fighter, they will cut you to ribbons, and they know it's a matter of time before either you get desperate or the referee jumps in and saves you. This is a natural gift. What you've got to do, Tony, is anticipation. You've got to wait, you've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put in a guess. sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez. What would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? But well, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. There's the bell for round eight. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. You've heard the phrase, finding a second wind. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. You got out of the way of that right hook. This fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Missing with the hook. Both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. about Alvarez. 
Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think, come on, bell, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. And we enter the night. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Neither fighter willing to sit down on these punches. They're arm punches, they're scoring, but they're not gonna hurt anybody. Robinson got buzzed there. He's been knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. Two, three, four, five. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Some fighters, when this happens, this can be heartbreaking. Some fighters, it makes them angry. They want to get back into the mix again. I want to know, what sort of character are we looking at here? Both men step back for just a moment. Robinson got buzzed there. He's in trouble. He takes a knee, buys time, collects himself. Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows who's won this round. Let's talk about Alvarez. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. Round 10. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle, man. He's got to, he's got to block it. Looking to land the hook. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. When are we gonna see a jab from these two? Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Failing to score with that right hook. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change. Oh, and they got rocked! What a moment this is! He's avoided, and he is forcing him to take a knee. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alvarez. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight.
takes a big deep breath. Banging down the top of the Great work. Stay focused. Don't let that and there's the bell to start round 11. Pulling off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You'd like to see more jabs. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Left shot lands. Hook misses. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. had enough and he is gonna quit they are going to surrender no moss they don't like that listen to them oh listen to that when he gets back to the gym his team is gonna give him hellfire this is what you work on as a fighter 